Welcome back. This video is going to be about the science behind acrylic and gel nails. Recently, I took my friend to get her nails done. Well, actually, we were both supposed to get our nails done, but I honestly just don't like getting acrylic nails. So I made her get her nails done for the purpose of this video. So thank you, Lacey. All right, let's get started. Before we start, here are some words to know. A monomer is a molecule that is one singular simple unit. When monomers join together, they form a large molecule called a polymer. And the process of monomers joining together is called polymerization. It's kind of like Legos. Those singular Legos are the monomers and the stacked Legos are the polymers. And the process of stacking the Legos is called polymerization. Alright, so this part he is buffing the nail. Notice that he's left handed. And FYI, I love left handed people. Method Man is left handed. Uh, former President Obama was left handed. All my favorite people are left handed. Anyways, yeah, so this part he's buffing the nail, and this is supposed to make the acrylic stick. But uh, I heard that you're not supposed to do that. I didn't hear that. I read that you're not supposed to do that because it causes you pain later on. All right, so this stuff here is, is adhesive. It's a chemical. This stuff is used to stick the tips on. Okay. That blue stuff is the monomer liquid and that white stuff is the polymer powder. Let me explain. That blue liquid has monomers and a catalyst in it. A catalyst speeds up the chemical reaction. Without a catalyst, the reaction would take a longer time. The white powder has polymers and initiators in it. The initiators start the reaction by providing the energy needed for the monomers to link together. And they require light or heat energy. So he dips his brush into the blue liquid and then the white powder and right there is when the reaction starts. The initiators make the monomers want to stack up like Legos, ultimately making polymers. This mixture begins to harden and this process is called polymerization. Also, when two monomers join together, they give off some heat, making this an exothermic reaction. You'll also see him repeatedly dipping the brush into the blue liquid. That's because the blue liquid has inhibitors which kind of stop the reaction and allows him to mold the nail into its final shape. But he only has a couple of seconds before the nail hardens. Now he's using this black gel polish and this is where the gel manicure stuff comes in. So she's getting two manicures, an acrylic and a gel manicure. People like to say that acrylic and gel nails are completely different, but they actually use the same chemicals. The main difference between the two is that gels have pre-joined monomers called oligomers because it's easier to join pre-joined monomers than a bunch of singular monomers. Another difference is that gel polishes come pre-mixed with the oligomers, catalysts, and initiators. With acrylic systems, you have to manually mix those parts. The only step needed after applying a layer of gel polish is the energy source for the initiators, which is UV light. This is why gel polishes are in opaque bottles so that light can't get in and harden all the nail polish. Gel polishes should be applied thin layers at a time instead of one thick layer so that the UV light can penetrate through all of the polish. Be careful with the UV lights. This is an exothermic reaction and if the reaction occurs too quickly, it can cause a burning sensation on your nail bed. So make sure the wattage isn't too high on your UV lamps. Also, there is a concern that you could get skin cancer from these lamps, but I read in this peer-reviewed article that it would take a lot of exposure with these lamps to get cancer. They did suggest that you wear fingerless gloves as a precaution. Basically that chrome powder contains a resin. There's also fiberglass in it 
and metals. So depending on what type of pigments are in it, you'll get the different colors of powder. You know, I wanted to go to, I went to a technical school for high school for a year and I did biotechnology, but I really wanted to do the nail tech course there that they had and get my nail tech license. But I didn't have enough time to do it for my senior year. It's a good side hustle if anybody wants to do it. These are the final products and her nails look gorgeous. Got the little chrome effect, purple and blue. And they look so cute. I got these done before. My friend complained that she had a little bit of pain afterwards and that sensation that you feel is shrinkage and it takes a little bit of time for that to finish. But it'll stop. It's a pest. I don't like getting my nails done like that for that reason. They are something to take off too. I got my nails done back in January and it's now April and my nails are still messed up. So I don't like getting that stuff. I have pretty nice nails. I don't know. I don't know. And that's the end of my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed learning about the science behind nails. I've been getting nails since I was in high school and I just never knew how they worked. So I like this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any suggestions for new videos, please comment below. And until next time, bye.